Male, 30s, no ID. Blood pressure is 210 over 135. You push six milligrams of Ativan and got nothing. <sighs> okay, okay, uh, Walsh, turn on. Trauma one. Turn him around. One, two, and... <sighs> There's two milligrams of Ativan. We're maxed out. Levitaracetam. Loading drills in. Starting a continuous drip. Okay, up his phenytoin drip. Last time the paramedics did that, his blood pressure crashed. He won't survive another hypotensive episode. Okay, I'm running out of options here, guys. Load phenobarb. Seriously? You want to induce a coma? I don't see another option. On it. You know him? It's Rohan. Dr. Kapoor's son. You know there's coffee inside? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I just wanted to get some fresh air. You're trying to avoid me. Isn't that what you wanted? As a side, what I don't want is for you to leave this hospital because of me. This ED depends on you. If you leave this department and your patients will suffer. I've been through breakups before. I can handle you being here. Us working together. I have issues with you, but the way you run an ED isn't one of them. Why are you doing this? Because I'm not going to be your reason for leaving. You're not. It's me. Stop. I'm not going to let you quit, OK? I'll reapply for my residency. I will find another hospital. No. Then stay. All right, what's the latest? Scans and labs show no sign of a brain bleed or multi-organ failure. Okay. His BUN and creatinine levels, however, are through the roof with a bicarb of 18. Okay, let's correct that. Bicarb right away. BP spiked. He's going into SVD, pushing beta blockers now. No, wait. I can't wait. He'll go into heart failure. Push if... six milligrams of adenosine instead. Why? Just do it. Copy. your talk screen. Thanks. There's a significant increase of amphetamines. Parent overdose. If we had pushed beta blockers, we would have killed him. Good call, Dr. Bloom. Yeah. How's Rohan doing? Better. Yeah, he's gonna make a full recovery. It's just a matter of time. And how's Lauren? The truth? Preferably. What are these? They are black beauties. Amphetamines. It's Rowan's. 
I didn't. Okay. Okay, all right. This whole place is like a trigger for me, you know? And not even my sobriety, it's like my sanity. I want to leave. I mean, I need to leave. Layla. Layla said that she would basically quit if I left. That the EP needs me. New Amsterdam needs me. Well, that, that doesn't seem very fair. Fair. Who says I deserve fair? Lauren, whatever you've done, you've got to let that go. You have to forgive yourself. I can't. I don't want to. So you just want to keep punishing yourself, do you? Because that's what I deserve. Lauren, look at me. Come here, sweetheart. Come here. Now you listen to me. If you need to leave for your sobriety and for your sanity, then you go. Because nothing is more important. Hey, how you feeling? Shamed? Mm -hmm. You know, part of me thinks that you should feel that way. This was a day about your father. You made it about you. Was that your intention? No. Okay. <clears throat> then I, uh, I have to ask you a hard question. Were you trying to end your life? Does it matter? It does. Why? <laughs> Nothing about me was good enough for him. <laughs> and he was right. I was desperate for his love, and all I could do was disappoint. He loved you very much. <laughs> no, he did. He loved you. It was just his... It was his expectations that prevented him from showing it. Showing it the way that you needed him to. I know you do. But I really do believe that if he had lived a little bit longer, you two would have found your way back to each other. I believe that, Rohan. Well, <clears throat> we'll never know now, will we? I think that's up to you. How? 
everything that your father was. Everything that he could be. That's in you. No, it is. It's inside of you. His life is in yours. How are you going to live it?